Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you, let's say, the situation where you happen to have an OpenCM 904B and you want to update firmware or recover software on some XL320. Uh, the process, unfortunately, is very involved. So first on OpenCM uh, 904B, you have two types of uh, TTL connection. You have the AXMX type, and then you also have the XL TTL type. That's the one used for the XL320. So right now you can see that I have a daisy chain, one XL320 ID7, one is ID15 onto the uh, XL Dynamics report. On the other side, the AXMX Dynamics, I also have it connected to a USB to Dynamics so dongle here, okay? So this will go to the PC with uh, one COM port. I think it COM 20, as it turn out. Also, the OpenCM904B have a micro USB. I also have it connected through a USB cable through here to the PC. So this is COM 21. Uh, the reason it needs to be done that is first you need to load up on the open uh, 904B uh, software called Dynamics of Tasha in order to make it possible for the OpenCM 904B to work with the USB to Dynamics of uh, communication. Okay, so let's do that first. So I want to show you how to load up the uh, Dynamics so Tosser software onto the OpenCM904B. So it's connected. Remember, it is COM21 to the PC. We have to launch Robotis OpenCM IDE, which I already did. Let's see. Here we go. So this opens up. First, make sure. So I go make sure the serial port is correct. It's COM21. I'm good. Go to the file. Example. Port 06 Dynamics. So find the DXL Dynamics of Tosser. Opens it up. And it's, you don't have to uh, fix anything on this piece of code. Just download it. Okay. So everything downloaded okay. And then that's all. Just close all those sketch in the IDE. Make sure you unplug that one now. Okay, so you see it's uh, dark now. Okay, now we can turn it on using the uh, batteries. Okay. So right now is uh, I'm gonna use Dynamics of Wizard, COM20. That means it's communicate through this uh, USB2 Dynamics of dongle through the Dynamics of port. Uh, this is a mixed Dynamics of port on the OpenCM904B itself. And we want to see if we can talk to these or see these XL320. So let me connect. Make sure it's on protocol 2.0, then it's 2.0, start searching. Bingo. It found two of them. One is a seven. You see the firmware is 26. 15, it also happened to 26. So version 26 ain't bad. It will still work. So for example, you can just check it. And then you basically, you can see that from the PC, you can communicate and, and Control these XL320 okay. All right, you see that uh, right. So right now this is uh, uh, in uh, time wise in July 2014. So this Dynamics of Wizard is latest version 1.0.18.4. Okay, and because the Dynamics of Firmware update option is open here. Let's see if we can up, update the firmware on both of these at the same time or not. 
we click on that. Next. Okay. So it found two of them. And it say, oh, I'm going to update 26 to 27. Click next. So it will on ID 7 first. So it does this mixture with all the mixer weight, two out of two. So the more dynamic so you have here, the longer this process probably will take. So we're just going to have to wait for it to do things. But in the meantime, you can see the that our communication between the PC and the TASA. Here we go. Starting formula next. But it always fails here if you have multiple. Okay. So even so, at least for this point in time, even the option to firmware update several uh, XL320, but it doesn't seem to work. So I'm gonna uh, pause here and I'm gonna remove one XL320 and see if we can make it work with only one. Okay, so I'm gonna disconnect this. I'm gonna pause. Okay, so I'm back. And I only have seven included in there now. Start searching for it. Okay, it found it. And let's say I can find more update only one or not. So let it do its thing. Still failed again. Okay. So for now, it looks like if you have a 904B using Dynamixer Wizard, you really uh, cannot update the firmware. So what we'll do is I'm going to recover it basically to wipe out the firmware 26 and put the firmware 27 in through the recovery process. That means the ID is going to be set to one. So I better remember to reset it to seven. Okay. So what we'll do. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. Go to dynamic so firmware recovery. Click next. It pop up this notification. Click OK. Make sure you're the right com for it. So for me, it's com 21. I mean 20. Search for it. And what it does is always say this. So you have to disconnect the connected bits and connect it again because it, it needs to do that. So that's why you had to do this one by one. So I'm going to disconnect it here from the open hour 4 b And as soon as I plug it back in, you see it's connected here and the red LED comes on. And say next. Now I have to do the recovery firmware. Make sure I choose the right one, which is XL320 here, version 27. Click next. Pop up that as a notification just to remind you, make sure you have everything correct. Click OK and it does its stuff fine. Okay, so right now it looks like you can up if you happen to have an open CM904B, uh, the process of updating the firmware is very painful. You have to recover them one by one. Click finish. It's good. Now let's connect it, search it again. Here we go. It found it. You see firmware at 27 now, but the ID because it recovery, so ID is set to one. So we need to change it back. So this is happened to be seven. So do seven and apply. And then uh, just to be checked to be sure. Okay, so it's connected fine there. 